news here courtesy of Berghain regarding Berghain regarding the November 2023 lineup which I am absolutely happy about because it's very very underground it's very unknown there's not a lot of big names there it kind of feels a little bit localized it feels like it's one for the heads and if anything it gives me hope as an aspiring budding dj that one day my name will end up in this gray font on this site one day in the future and when it does you guys will not hear the end of it i swear to god i might even get a tattooed on my body <laughs> when that happens i swear you watch just you wait so november 2023 lineup is out um very interesting lineups obviously as we scroll down the first one that pops out to me is of course november the fourth lineup here that features dj nobu i've always wanted to see dj nobu play and seeing him play in Berghain would be amazing dasha rush is also somebody that i'm a big fan of chris and rosa terenzi who's meant to be playing here next week in fold or this weekend sorry in fold um steffi of course who's an og and yonti who i've always been a fan of who i'm sure if i'm not mistaken is the boyfriend of roy perez so that should be interesting to see what type of they play because i'd assume they play the same stuff but i guess not because um roy perez is more of a housey dj who plays usually in panorama bar but yonti's playing Playing in Bergheim main room, so that should be good. And on the same night in Pano Bar, you got Beige FKA M4A, which I'm a big fan of. Mary Moxamir, who I absolutely love after seeing her uh, once or the first time, sorry, in Fabric and in subsequent times in other places. Paramida Nix, um, Ted Patterson, I'm a big fan of, and the Carry Nation. The fourth is a good one. Big up Drift Kiev getting a night on the ninth. And um, we've got a Rift Night happening. We've got a Snacks event happening. But one I'm really interested about, which I make, make the effort to go to two times a month which is a bit excessive is the 11th of november which features arm playing in panorama bar and none other than dvs1 imagine that dvs1 is going to be playing in panorama bar that's fucking crazy he's usually a Berghain dj um he's known for sometimes having legendary Berghain sets there's still the hope that he will someday close Berghain. i've read on the Berghain subreddit that he doesn't want to close it because of some um issue with the mixer or something i don't really sure what's going on there but i would love to see him close Berghain one time but i've seen him play at fold i've seen him play at e1 i've seen him play many places in london i haven't had a chance to see him play in fucking Berghain just yet but for this particular event on the 11th of november he's going to be playing in panoba and i'm curious to see dvs playing house records because he never plays vocals right so i'm, I'm wondering in my head is he going to be playing like vocal like you know vocalless uh without vocals sorry fucking house music is that what he's going to be doing or is he going to be up there playing fucking um no way back you know what i mean like what's going to be going on there i don't know i'm really curious to see what dvs does so i'm really curious and i might actually go just because of that and obviously on that same lineup you got arm playing there i also want to see dixon it's been a while since dixon's playing Berghain. he had one of the legendary sets actually there back in the day one of the reasons why i actually went to fucking um uh Berghain in the first place it was i think it was like a Berghain event review let me see if i can actually get it up it was an event review from a really long time ago let's see if i can find it here i think it was ra Berghain event let's see event review and let's write dixon let's see if we can find it because i remember dixon played there and yeah there we go it's 2000 and see there we go 2017 actually it was 2017 as you can see here from the link this is from news from back in the day so in 2017 dixon played an all-night set at Berghain and the school so um the Innovision boss revealed on berlin amsterdam locations that today's part of the ongoing all-night long tour so he played on the finest Berghain on that day there let's see if we can find any reviews of the actual event i'm not really sure if we can but let's go on the listings here catch up Berghain itself so he played all night long in Berghain in 2017 on the friday i mean well yeah wow that's incredible so instead of panel bar he played actually in burger that's actually interesting um and obviously you see the list there of him playing at contact tokyo burger in the school amsterdam and robert johnson in frankfurt off and back that's fucking cool isn't it that's a really cool lineup of places to play tokyo berlin amsterdam um germany right japan germany netherlands germany again absolutely barnstorming i'm not sure if we got the the uh event review but i do remember back in the day there was an event review for it that i remember reading and it legitimately made me want to go Berghain. that was how good it was because it kind of spoke about how amazing dixon's set was how it went let me see if i can actually find it on here i don't think i actually will event review dixon let's see if i can find it on here 
the, 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 I don't think it is on here actually, unfortunately. Let's see, 2017, let's write it on the Google. Let's see if anything comes up. Da, 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 da. Nope, actually not. There's nothing here that shows you the event review itself, unfortunately. But I do remember it happened. So, you know, I'm good. just stick with me. So I'd like to see him play there soon. Um, but we've seen Arm um, playing at Berkheim a lot. So big up Arm um, for being able to play there. Um, we've also got Danielle Dinky, um, Hiroku Yamamura playing there, Marcel Dietman and, and Balkheimer, one of my favorites as well. But one I'm really curious to go to as we scroll down is this line up towards the end of the month which is aurora aurora halal answer code request iron extracts marina philippa pacho quelza who allegedly is going to be closing quelza is fucking one of my favorites one of my um new discoveries i've been obsessed with um very um interesting dj because i feel like he provides soundtracks as opposed to just mixes it almost feels like he's scoring your night as opposed to just whacking out tunes it's really interesting to kind of speak about and he's also very thematic he kind of plays a lot of records that's tied into where he's playing at he kind of matches the mood the atmosphere of where he's at like he's just a really good dj overall and obviously in the following friday the, the, the friday before partok and roy perez are playing in panel bar that should be sick you got ryan Eller, so you're playing on that that same day stefan goldman panel bar you got um aki so akira hawks avalon emerson who'll be interested to see um boy shorts jesse lanza mala aika and mike star who i absolutely love in terms of straight up sick house dj so if anything very headsy lineup not a lot of big blockbuster names but definitely one for the heads and i'm really eager to go so november's looking fucking sick the fourth obviously like i said um with nobu is absolutely great um dvs1 playing in fucking panel bar is going to be a mad one i'm curious to see what the reviews will be there for that i'm actually trying and do that thing that i've always wanted to do um before that where i might do one of those things where i fly out on saturday and come back on monday and just check out just that one party and not actually you know maybe take stay one night in one place and kind of stay out the whole entire time that i'm there it's a bit of a mad one but i might have to try it because if i'm not mistaken the station next to Bergheim has lockers that people can use to leave stuff in and shit so I can essentially get somewhere you know have that there have my little toothbrush and shit go and have a good time sleep and then come back home I might have to try to just to see if it's one of panel but it's worth it and of course in the main room there's Rod Hat, Tasha and Jacko Jacko playing also so it's not the it's not like a shit night do you know what I mean it's going to be fucking sick so I'm curious to see how that goes I'm really really curious to see how that goes so if you're interested check it out um Berghain November lineup where you find most of the Berghain lineups don't delay do not flipping delay